Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we're going to talk about S-Pro DVRs and NVRs and I've got two out here that look identical. The top one's a DVR which isn't activated at the moment and the bottom one is an NVR. Now you've all seen this image before if you've seen our videos. I always bring a camera home when I'm testing them so I can have a really good look. The camera out in my back garden at this moment in time is one of these, which is an S-Pro IP camera. It's the five megapixel IP. Um, it's certainly our favorite uh, IP camera that they do. It's got a really nice color to it, even if we've picked a bad day for it today with the overcast cloud. It's a color night because it has the white light on it, of course, and it has the blue and red flashing beacons because it's an active deterrent camera it's got a built-in microphone and a built-in speaker which is very important because that can be used for a siren to go off or one of the preset warnings or you can upload one of your own again it's an ai pro 5 megapixel ip definitely our favorite so here we have it out in our garden i'm going to show you now how to set up intrusion detection intrusion detection so that when we're away at work we know if somebody is on our property and again this is for the nvr i will do a video straight after this one and activate the dvr for you but please feel free to watch it they are very similar it has to be said so first things first we right click and that brings up the menu click main menu at the top and there we have AI for artificial intelligence. There's a funky picture of a head there, looks like something off the old 80s movie Tron. Left click in there. And I'll just shrink this down. We've got at the top on the left hand side AI search. So you can search for humans and vehicles or something along those lines. And we have parameters. Well, we want to be in parameters. We've got to set it up first. So if I click parameters and click on smart plan. There's only one camera on this NVR, even though it's an 8 channel, and it says D1. Now, if you click the arrow at the side of it, there's only one in there, because of course there's only one camera. If you had six cameras in there, you'd have D1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, or 8, or 16, whatever. Now, what's important is, this thing here, it's a picture of a light bulb. We want to highlight it, and it turns yellow. Down to the bottom corner here, where the master apply is, and click that okay when you switch these cameras on channel one channel two channel three do it individually okay now then over to ivs we're still on camera one d1 because there's only one camera on there so let's go down to the bottom corner and click add now i'm going to go across the screen because there's three things that need changing here and every time i make a change I'm going to go down and press the apply button. Now you don't have to, but I've set these things up hundreds of times. If this is your first attempt, I don't want you to forget to press the apply by jumping onto the next thing. So please do that, it's very, very important. If not, you might get your knickers in a knot a bit later on. So first things first, it's set as tripwire. I don't want that. Tripwire is perfectly fine, but I much prefer intrusion. So if I click that, click intrusion, and then straight down to the master apply. Click it twice if you want. Doesn't make any difference at all. Here's the business end draw. So if I click on the little pencil there, here's my garden. Now, this menu's in the way because this is my area that I'm concerned with. So if I left click, drag it all the way over there, it's out of my way. Why? Because there's my kitchen door, conservatory, and the door here. Before I do anything, in this box let's draw the area that we want so we left click here 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 and here as you can see the lines are forming behind it doesn't have to be any particular shape right up to the top where the first dot was and now we want a single right click when we do that it says rule one which means that it understands the area that we've drawn. And you can see an arrow pointing in and out of this particular line here. And that means for all of them. Why? Because cross 
is ticked here so that's people crossing in and out of that area top tip keep these lines away from the edge of the screen i've got them close to the edge of the screen just for the purposes of this video I think it's nice to have them an inch, inch and a half in at least, if you're going to do a great big one on your entire screen. Keep them away from the edges because you're giving it the best chance of spotting somebody crossing the lines into your area. But we also have a second chance of seeing that intruder by clicking appear, which means anybody inside that area. The target filter is clearly switched on, it's lit up, and it's for humans and motor vehicles. This is in my back garden, I don't need the motor vehicle resource, so I'll unclick it. And now the only thing I've got to do is set a minimum and maximum size for the human, because remember, I've unticked the motor vehicle in this particular area. And we do that by going up to the corner here where it's a target filter, left click. We've got a tiny blue box in the center, and the blue box on the outside of the screen. The blue box on the outside is the maximum size and this one can be altered for your minimum size and that is by far the most important in our opinion. So let's get the maximum size box in. I'm going to go up to the top corner, left click, drag it in like that. I'll, I'll make it big still. I've actually made it bigger than the actual area that I've drawn. Have you noticed? that area has disappeared for the time being while I'm sorting this target area now and then I'm going to grab this box here drag it over there and I'm going to make this a rectangle because somebody is going to have to walk down this path that's about the right size there I would have said in fact let me put my over here onto the grass so it's easier to see doesn't matter whether you draw the minimum inside the inside the maximum or not but you can see that minimum size. Now, why is that important? Like I said, if you can imagine an animal walking through here, we've got it looking for humans, but if it walks through that box and doesn't fulfill all of that minimum size, you don't get a notification. So you're helping the NVR out to make the best decision before it sends you a notification through to your phone. So that's it, that's how it's done. Like I say, it doesn't matter where it is, Plunk it back over there, it makes no difference. Cross, appear, target filter is on for humans and a maximum and minimum size. Easy peasy. Next thing, click OK and then straight back down to the master apply. Press it twice again if you want to. We know that that's ready. The intrusion is saved and the area that we've drawn is saved. Let's go into trigger. Left click, what do we want the camera to do, or the NVR to do? Here's the schedule, you can click in there and alter that anytime you want. You might not want it on on a weekend, and just want it on through the day when you're at work. Click in the settings and change that to any time frame that you like. Other than that, the record channel is ticked, so it will record the event, which is a human walking onto the property. And another thing that I am going to tick is the buzzer and I'm going to take that because that's the buzzer of the actual NVR that's down here so that you can hear it go off at the same time as I walk outside for you we have light and camera audio it's got a light um, option here because the camera that I've just shown you is a very advanced um, AI active deterrent camera so it has the pulsating light on it there you go and the camera audio is of course the siren on the camera. I did say it had a microphone and a speaker. I'll click into the setting there, and instead of having it on alarm, and uh, obviously we've got underneath the player time, it goes off three times. I'll take the alarm off, which is a siren, and I'll have uh, this one. You are under surveillance, but I'll leave the player time as three times. You can have it as one or five, whatever it may be. Now, to get back out of here so we save everything that we've just changed firstly press OK then we press apply here and then the back button at the side of it makes it disappear and then down to that master apply as I call it down at the bottom so we're set intrusion is set we've drawn an area that suits us 
for people who cross into the area and are inside it. We've set it for humans only because it's in my back garden and we've set a sensible maximum and more importantly minimum size in the triggering, a bleep from the NVR itself and obviously the active deterrent on the camera, the flashing light and the warning, warning you are under surveillance. So, I will right click and right click again. Here we are, back onto our live picture. You can see the area that I've drawn there. I can get rid of that and show you how to do that. But first, I'm going to go set this off for you. Now, there's a tablet here and my mobile phone is also on the desk. So you'll probably hear multiple uh, notifications come through because the intrusion uh, notifications are set on both those devices. And you will hear the buzzer on the NVR. Here we go. As you can see, as soon as I walked into that area, it sussed me straight away. And did you see the size of me stood up as opposed to the minimum size? And that's what's really important. Like I say, I can't get that across enough. Um, obviously, it would be nicer for this to be further over so you could get the crossing as well. But because we've got a piers on, it's getting me without any trouble. What I'm going to do now is walk around the corner here and out of my side gate to the front of my garage. I'll leave it 10, 12 seconds or so, and then I'll walk back in, and you should also see me um, get picked up in both of those movements. Here we go. And there you go. Um, there's no way I can walk around in that area without being seen by the NVR. You've heard the multiple bleeps go off. If I just click onto my tablet, there is a blue icon at the top, which is for the DMSS app. If I click there, it shows that there has been an intrusion alarm and it's a human. Okay, I'll just click onto the app anyway so you can see it. S Pro 4K NVR alarm and it's human and there's the three notifications the uh, la last event that you saw is at the top of the screen and there's three of them I stuck my head out of the door I walked away and then walked back so it's missed nothing if I click the last one as it was coming back it's hard to see when you're showing uh, tablets on YouTube there's a picture of me walking back when it spotted me and if I click live video and then bob it onto its side. Sorry, my internet's not great down here. Here we go. And there's yours truly. And that is how Espro intrusion detection works. Now, I did say that I would show you how to take this off because it's on on the screen at the moment. It's a 50-50 split. When we install these, um, some people like it on the screen. Some people want it gone because they think it's in the way. It's totally up to you. And it's easy to achieve by right-clicking again. Click on the main menu. And nip over to the display setting. In there is all the things that are on the screen. And you can see AI rule which is clearly selected and that's for artificial intelligence rule and that is an intrusion area so if i click on there untick that switch and press apply when i come back it will get rid of it for me like so and it's gone if you want it back on go back in and switch it back on and remember to press the apply button easy peasy japanese s pro intrusion detection is certainly the best one that I've seen. Um, 
I've had these um, NVRs and EVRs on tests uh, for months and we've been supplying them for months and we have really good results. Remember that minimum size, that target area. The minimum size is the key to this. So, that's a quick video on the S-Pro NVR and its intrusion detection facility. Um, there is a link in the bottom of the description through to our Facebook page if you've got any more questions or you would like us to hook you up with one of these items. No problem at all. Um, other than that, the next video that will follow this will be for this unit here on top, which is the DVR. They do a B5 and a B6 version. Uh, the B5 is a light version and the B6 is the, uh, the full bananas. Um, and I'll do that next. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it's been a little bit long, but other than that, stay out of bother, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ta-da now.